It turns out that the humans we had been receiving with mostly open arms were in fact not average humans. They're mostly military, or at least military related, with baseline modifications and more or less on best behaviour. Take a moment to comprehend that statement. The man that accidentally turned a moon into an expanding ball of plasma was a military engineer on his best behaviour. Working without our civilian grade weaponry. Yeah. It turns out that human cybernetic and genetic technologies are further along than we thought. They figured out some way not only to selectively kill and regrow cells in accordance with new genetic code, but managed to get their neurons to replenish themselves and flawlessly integrate with existing nervous structures. Because of this, humans can change their bodies like those of us with tattoos would change them. It's not something done in a couple of seconds, but it's hardly arduous. Because of this, many have modifications that are far from their baseline enhanced intelligence, strength, durability, etc. Viewing altering their body the same way as we view changing pants. For the species that don't wear shirts, you get the idea. As such, you will likely be seeing humans with soft fur, scales, tails of whatever type, wings that shouldn't be able to support their mass but do, claws, feathers, Bigger ears, more limbs, different eyes, digit-grade legs, differently proportioned limbs or bone structures, or any other number of modifications. Basically, if you see a sapient species you don't recognise, odds are decent, it's a human. There also might be some humans with bodies closely mimicking some of the more, to them, cute of us. To quote one human, Oh my omnissiah, those squirrel people are so adorable! To them, Mimicry is among the greatest forms of flattery, so try not to be too offended. Every species has its quirks. Since some people would freak out when a human's hair dye would fade, that was an interesting discovery, though some have taken up the human idea of dyeing parts of their body. If your human co-worker, compatriot, whatever, shows up one day looking entirely different, don't freak out that they're dying or they have a disease or something. Oh, and we've been informed that our previous document was wrong. Those weren't military-grade weapons, just slightly higher-end civilian.